Hi everyone, Anjali here from the Climate Emergency Unit. Exciting news, this week I'll be heading to COP29 in Baku, Azerbaijan. The UN Climate Convention takes place each year in a different country in a different region, and this year Azerbaijan will host the convention. This is a complicated and controversial situation, given that Azerbaijan just last year carried out a mass campaign of ethnic cleansing of Armenians from the Nagorno-Karabakh region, also known as Artsakh breaking apart the Republic of Artsakh in a continuation of over 100 years of Armenian persecution, oppression, and genocide. And to this day, the Azerbaijanian government refuses to formally acknowledge the Armenian genocide, which is a recognition that 34 countries, including Canada, have made. Much of the success of Azerbaijan in building its military and diplomatic power came from its large petroleum reserves, which have benefited countries like the US, Israel, and Turkey, and kept them as key allies. And here we see the unholy alliance of the fossil fuel economy and the military industrial machine, a perfect illustration of how our fight for climate justice must be rooted in solidarity with all oppressed peoples. Hosting a UN conference on climate change in a petro state with such recent human rights violations is problematic, of course, and many groups around the world have called for a boycott of COP29 for these reasons. Here's why we chose to attend COP29 this year and what we commit to do in light of this decision. For the past year, I've been building a cross-Canada coalition on Canada's fair share, which is the idea that Canada's contributions to the international community in the form of climate finance, reparations, and other supports to developing countries are crucial if we're going to win on climate. Canada is one of the wealthiest nations on earth, made richer by our massive fossil fuel economy, and we've helped accelerate climate change around the world, disproportionately affecting the world's poorest. We owe billions to the global south, and it's not a matter of charity, it's a matter of justice. We need to do our fair share, and we need to pay up. COP29 is known as the Finance COP because it's the year in which countries of the world will negotiate a new collective goal on climate finance. Given our work in this area, it's important that we at the Climate Emergency Unit show up with our colleagues from other parts of Canada and around the world to cooperate on pushing our governments to make the strongest possible commitment on finance. This COP could have resounding implications that will affect the pace and effectiveness of the global energy transition for years to come. It's an absolutely crucial time for climate finance, and I'm looking forward to working with comrades from around the world to push the needle on that in Baku this year. A couple of weeks ago, we hosted a virtual summit called Canada's Fair Share, a conference on global climate equity. We heard from many of you that you want to engage on these issues. You want to find inroads into building power and pushing our governments to be better when it comes to our international presence on climate. At COP this year, we will bring you more analysis, real-time updates, and more opportunities to engage. And while we're in Baku, we want to visibilize the ongoing resistance of the Armenian people. In the description of this video, you can find links to some further reading about the Armenian genocide, the calls for boycotting the COP, and ways to take action for Armenian solidarity. These issues feel huge, and it's hard to think of them as being within our control. But at the CEU, we firmly believe that people power is capable of anything, and it's our responsibility to help open pathways to true emergency level climate action. We hope that our work in Baku will move us closer to Canada's fair share, and we invite you to take this journey with us. So follow along for daily updates on CEU's social media and the CEU newsletter and the brand new Fair Shares newsletter. See you there.